Hey, dear love, if you're wondering how to get through spiritual awakening and kundalini rising, here are a few things you can use that are actually gifts right from Mother Earth. Hi, dear loves, I'm Nicole, and I help my clients manifest their dream life faster than they can on their own through spiritual guidance. So if you like what you hear, please hit that thumbs up button and let YouTube know that we want to be here for a while. Subscribe, become a spiritual superstar. And once you do, hit that bell so that you're notified as soon as a new spiritually guided reading or video or discussion is uploaded or we're presenting live. You don't want to miss that because we have tons of fun and we get loads of high quality content. Let's go ahead and get started. So during a kundalini rising and spiritual awakening, your human is going through a plethora of different emotions and vibrational energy. And that energy is coming from you. And it is the moment that you really realize as the human that you have a soul. And then that switch happens that you realize, in fact, you are the soul within your human, thus creating the paradigm shift that will ultimately serve the way your life will go forward. So there are a few things that we're naturally gifted with to help our ascension in spiritual awakening and kundalini rising. Crystals. Crystals are natural gifts from Earth Mother and they take so many years to form. Actually a two centimeter crystal can take over 10 million years to form. And it's because of this precious composition that they absorb universal energies. So it's really important that you cleanse charge and clear your crystals of the universal energies that they have undoubtedly absorbed over the time that they have been cultivated. I have a few videos on our YouTube channel, Spiritual Guidance from Nicole XO, that will help you do that. So the crystals that I'm going to share with you today are quintessential in your ascension process. The first one is probably one that you're already familiar with as an energy healer or even having gone to an energy healer or practitioner. Quartz. Quartz harmonizes all the chakras and aligns the subtle bodies. And when you're experiencing Kundalini rising or spiritual awakening, your chakras, which are your energy centers, are really going off like fireworks inside. So quartz is the most powerful healing and energy amplifier on the planet because of its unique spiral crystalline or crystalline form. So they can be found worldwide and this crystal absorbs stores, releases, and actually regulates energy. It's excellent for unblocking energy. And that's why it's so powerful during an awakening. Because you'll find during a spiritual awakening and kundalini rising, your energy is stuck, stagnant, blocked, and quartz has a very potent, powerful way of unblocking and getting dormant energy to move and to flow freely. So this crystal works at a vibrational level attuned to the specific energy requirements of the person needing healing or undertaking spiritual work. It takes the energy to the most perfect state possible going back to before the dis-ease or discomfort or overly aggressive or imbalanced ego state set in. 
It cleanses and enhances the organs and the subtle bodies and acts as a deep soul cleanser, connecting the physical dimension, which is the fourth dimension, with the mind or thought. At a spiritual level, quartz is a crystal that raises energy to the highest possible level. Now, quartz can come in many different, different colors and really in every color possible. But clear quartz works on all levels of being. And that's why it's such a potent crystal for spiritual awakening. Remember that spiritual awakening is the moment that you are reminded you are the soul within your human. And the Holy Spirit is waking you up to a vibrancy that you did not have before, that you were not aware of before. And remember that we experience multiple awakenings in our life journey. So the ascension process is deeply layered to welcoming the next phase of your higher self. Quartz has the ability to dissolve karmic seeds. It enhances psychic ability and it attunes us to our spiritual purpose or our life mission, our soul calling. Quartz filters out distractions and it aids in concentration and unlocks the memory. So we are accessing our our Akashic Records, which is our spiritual imprint when using clear quartz. Another beautiful crystal that we can use is obsidian. Obsidian is a stone without boundaries or limitations and it works extremely fast and with great power. Its truth-enhancing, reflective qualities are really merciless in exposing flaws, weaknesses, and blockages. Nothing can be hidden from obsidian. And it's very important in our spiritual awakening and kundalini arising process because of that clarity we receive in shedding our ego. Obsidian is a strongly protective stone and it really does form a shield against negativity. It provides a grounding cord from the base chakra or the root or muladhara chakra to the center of Mother Earth. It absorbs negative energies from the environment and strengthens in times of need. And we are definitely in need of divine help and intervention during the awakening process. As we rise and ascend on, we are really exposing ourselves to internal truths to begin with. However, the environment also becomes overwhelming in certain stages of our awakening and we know that spiritually obsidian vitalizes the soul purpose so if that is the theme in your spiritual awakening then obsidian is definitely a stone that you want to have black obsidian is very powerful and it aids in the creative process or your creative expression. It grounds the soul and spiritual forces into this physical plane or this fourth dimension, bringing them under the direction of the conscious will and making it possible to manifest spiritual energies on earth, meaning we are manifesting our soul purpose our spiritual love and really whatever theme is being highlighted in the first stage of our spiritual awakening process. Black obsidian is protective. It repels negativity and disperses unloving thoughts. Very, very important in our awakening or ascension process as we battle and inner outer struggle between our human and us, the soul. 
It facilitates the release of old loves. Yes, it does. And provides support during this change. So if you are seeking a break from toxic love of soulmate or even twin flame connection, black obsidian is something that will help you in that process. This is also a stone that's used in shamanic ceremonies to remove physical disorders and it also has a gift of prophecy. So again, if your theme in your spiritual awareness or awakening is highlighting your spiritual gifts, black obsidian is a definite stone to have for you to use. The next stone that I want to bring to your attention is black tourmaline. Black tourmaline protects against cell phones, electromagnetic smog, radiation, and psychic attack. It protects against spells and ill wishing. And yes, it is very possible for spells and ill wishing to manifest negativity. And that's why I always practice and teach spiritual safety. This is a beautiful stone that protects against negative energies of all kinds. Connecting with the base chakra, it grounds energy and increases physical vitality, dispersing tension and relieving stress. Black tourmaline clears negative thoughts. It promotes a laid-back attitude and objective neutrality with clear, rational thought. It encourages a positive attitude no matter what the circumstances and stimulates altruism and practical creativity. If you're seeking healing in your phase of spiritual awakening, black tourmaline placed point out from the body draws off negative energy. So if you're using a wand, for example, you would place the point end of the wand out from the body, not directed to the body, and it will help draw off negative energy. That negative energy coming from your human vessel out back to the universe and black tourmaline defends against debilitating disease. Black tourmaline strengthens the immune system. And so if your awakening is highlighting chronic conditions, illnesses, it treats dyslexia and arthritis, it actually provides pain relief and realigns the spinal column. So this is a wonderful stone to have for the healing properties alone. So like any other crystal and stone, tourmaline comes in a variety of different colors as well. Tourmaline cleanses, it purifies, and transforms dense energy into a lighter vibration. Now what does that mean? We are dense energy and we are going through a process that is bringing us to our enlightened or higher self and that is a lighter vibration and so it is an aid in helping us rise from our human physical existence and be able to radiate in the fifth sixth seventh and beyond dimensions from physically living and enjoying our existence in the fourth dimension or in our lifetime. So tourmaline grounds spiritual energy. It clears and balances all of the chakras and it forms a protective shield around the body. Tourmaline is a shamanic stone 
that brings protection during rituals. It can be used for scrying and was traditionally used to point to the culprit or cause in times of trouble and indicate a good direction in which to move. So tourmaline wands are useful healing tools and you'll often see a Reiki master using tourmaline. It's an excellent stone for balancing and connecting the chakras and at that physical level, at the human level, tourmaline helps to rebalance the meridians or the energy channels throughout one's body. Now I've saved the best for last. So I just want to remind you that during a spiritual awakening, we are ascending on to our higher, our higher self or our best spiritual self. And those layers of self go through a metamorphosis. A lot is going on inside of us. And so this stone is remarkably brilliant in that ascension process. Chirawite is a stone of transformation. It is the soul stone that overcomes fear. Cherowite stimulates inner vision and spiritual insight and aids in coping with enormous change at a spiritual level. To facilitate this, it synthesizes the heart and crown chakras. It cleanses the aura and stimulates unconditional love. There's a video that I came across and I just want to show it to you here so that you have an even greater understanding of what Chera White looks like. Chera White encourages vibrational change and links to higher realities. At the same time, it provides deep physical and emotional healing and that's the epitome of what we need during the, uh, the spiritual awakening and kundalini ascension. It helps us to accept the present moment as being perfect and therefore it helps really facilitate the healing properties that we need in order to not be traumatized or add to the already fearful state during parts of the awakening and the ascension process. Psychologically, Chera White integrates negative qualities and facilitates acceptance of others. It releases deep fears and is particularly useful for overcoming resistance or putting things into perspective. Part of our spiritual awakening is recognizing the fault in others and absolutely within ourselves. Chera White aids in that transformation and that ease of self-acceptance and being okay with understanding this is our journey and our loved ones have their own journey. Chera White bestows drive, vigor, and spontaneity and is able to reduce stress and worry, bringing about a relaxed attitude that is absolutely natural during the ascension process. Chera White can be used to overcome compulsions and obsessions. When we experience spiritual awakening and kundalini rising, one of the mistakes that I see most of my clients make and have found in my research to be quite prevalent, and I have done it as well, is to go back out of fear to an unhealthy connection or behavior. Chera White is a stone that helps balance the crown chakra. It assists in overcoming that sense of alienation or frustration. So when we feel that isolation and that overwhelming feeling of being misunderstood during the spiritual awakening process, Chera White 
stimulates perceptive observations and analysis and applies these to facilitate a fast decision. Therefore, we're able to really stay in the game of life while ascending on into our higher self. Chair White helps anyone who is driven by other people's thoughts and programs rather than their own. So during a spiritual awakening, you may find that the theme is calling you to your soul mission, your life purpose, because you've been living a life up to that point that doesn't belong to you. It simply is a life that was handed to you out of circumstances and directive from another body. Chara White grounds the spiritual self into everyday reality. It encourages a path of service to humanity. This stone opens and balances the crown chakra, which is our higher self. It can bring insightful visions of past lives, which are our Akashic records, and suggests ways to redress karma on a personal and collective level. So Cherowite is definitely the number one crystal or stone that you want to have when you are experiencing your awakening or Kundalini rising. Well, there you have it, dear loves. I pray that uh, this information helps you in your spiritual journey. It has helped me, and I really pray that you're able to find um, comfort in what you heard today. Please like, leave a comment, and share what you thought about our video today and what you're experiencing. I would love to know. And guess what? When you share, you help other spiritual superstars know that they're not alone. Take great care, dear loves. And if you're interested in any workshops, private coaching, or readings, the links are down below. Mwah! I'll see you very soon.